Hi guys, uh, my name is Vince, uh, this is Sebastian, we're both in the band Unknown Color. Uh, today we'll show you how we use sidechain compression on a bass uh, during our live set. Um, uh, the reason why we started, we wanted to uh, use a side compression during our live show was because when I was producing uh, the song and the album, I uh, quite often use a sidechain compression uh, on the bass. Uh, sometimes um, I keep the uh, I keep it, or I uh, might not using it, but I always try to sidechain uh, uh, compress the bass. Um, what it does, it's actually it gives more pump. Uh, it's uh, it's more um, um, it gives you dynamics on your bass. Uh, so um, uh, because the pump uh, the the kick is pumping the um, the actual bass. How the sidechain compression works. Um, uh, usually when you use a compressor as is, um, the, the threshold and the audio uh, signal comes uh, and get compressed by uh, where you set your threshold, so it uh, reduces the volume. Um, in this setup, you use the sidechain compression, um, um, the, the audio signal that goes in the sidechain triggers the compression. So uh, when you use the kick, then it follows that that uh, that drum line, and the bass uh, just pump uh, with it. Um, um, and with Sebastian, with uh, on his rig, we wanted to introduce that, um, and uh, we decided to um, go with the uh, M-Press compressor. It's a Canadian company. Uh, it's really cool, and we uh, we introduce uh, an a uh, on-off switch on it. So uh, let me take you to the pedal board, and I'll show you. Uh, how we are set up. All right, so on the board, uh, we have the compressor, the Impress compressor uh, made in Canada. Um, so the, um, the bass goes in the tuner. Uh, the tuner goes uh, into the compressor, and the compressor goes back in the rest of the chain. Um, so um, what we do for the sidechain input, we have a jack here. It's a um, it's a balance quarter inch jack. This is uh, an audio signal that comes from the trigger uh, of the drum. Uh, we'll show you that setup in a minute. Um, so this audio signal line signal uh, comes uh, on that jack goes under the rack, comes in that on off switch. Uh, when it's blue, it's off. When it's on, uh, it's um, it's uh, turned off, and um, um, the output of that goes in the sidechain input. The only, f the only small thing we had a problem with was that this input was not a, a tip ring sleeve, was not a, a balance input. So uh, we had to modify that jack for an unbalanced um, jack, and we, uh, we need to lift the, uh, lift, leave the, the connector halfway plugged. So I don't know uh, in what kind of situation you want to use the an unbalanced sidechain input signal, but uh, for us it didn't didn't work, and we we make it happen on and leaving it uh, like that. So uh, let me take you to the drum setup, and uh, we'll come back and uh, show you uh, AB um, on off and uh, AB um, uh, test with the, the sidechain uh, on and off. All right, so on the drum kit, what we have here, we, uh, we have a drum, a kick drum, uh, with a roll-in trigger. Uh, this trigger goes into the TD6 uh, add here, and it um, goes into a MIDI, uh, uh, from a MIDI jack into a um, M-Audio profi Profire 610, the audio interface. And this is all powered by a proper red reason uh, on this uh, computer. All right, so on the computer, um, we have um, we have a proper red reason. Um, this is uh, the software we use for a backing track, and the software we use uh, for a synthesizer and also for a trigger in that in example. Um, I love reason. I've been mixing uh, the last album only with reason. Uh, recording, mixing, and mastering only with Reason. I love Reason. I've been using it for uh, f since the beginning. Um, 
uh, it's uh, I just I'm just comfortable with that software. But uh, you can use any kind of software you're comfor comfortable with um, to do what we're doing now. And the way we are set up, uh, we uh, we made a, a patch, a combinator or an NNXT um, for every song we have. So when the drummers uh, wants to change the song and change the, the, the kit he used, he just used the arrow on the keyboard and. Uh, he change uh, which song song he wants to play. So for that example, we want to play Fighting Monster. So we have a combinator with an NNXT in it, and all the samples are assigned to a specific trig uh, that are played by the the drums. Um, um, these trigs are assigned to an output here, and I'm gonna flip the rack. On the back of the rack, you have these two output that goes into a mixer on the top and those two mixer are both for the kick um, and um, we send the output of the kick into one output is for uh, the DI and the, the FOH so one output is the DI for the, the FOH and the other output is for um, is uh, in ear uh, in ear monitor uh, mixer he has uh, right under the, this laptop so uh, he can control uh, the the right amount of kick he wants to have and uh, if during the show he wants to have more kick he can do it uh, on the fly um, on the mixer he has um, what we're sending on the sidechain is uh, an auxiliary and the reason why I uh, decided to use an auxiliary it's because uh, we're sending a, an, an a separate feed on a separate output to the the sidechain uh, uh, compressor but we have the control of sending the the exact amount we need for that song so let's say uh, that song we always did um, we send um, uh, that amount of, uh, of uh, a kick into the sidechain uh, uh, pedal and for uh, the song No Bird, we send a little less. And uh, Never Told Me, we send a little more. Some song, we don't send it. So it's really cool because this setup is saved and will be um, reopened. And we won't have to touch any knobs. So Sebastian on the bass doesn't have to bend over and turn the knobs uh, uh, between songs. It's Chris that change his preset for his song X and uh, the, the, the sidechain tricks. So it's really cool. So that's that's it for uh, what's on the computer. If we if you want to see how we go uh, uh, a little more in depth um, for our backing track, we use stereo backing track with uh, um, um, custom made mix for the drummer and bassist um, uh, with reason. Um, um, just give us some comment and we'll we'll make a video about it I think it's pretty interesting to see um, so um, feel free to ask me any question on the comments uh, I can I can help you uh, with all this setup I know it can be it, it can be confusing with all those wires but once you understand it, it's it's quite fun to play with all right so um, here uh, behind the rack of um, uh, the drum triggers. Uh, we have that Roland uh, TD6 Ed, and under that we have that M Audio uh, Profire 610. So one of the output goes into um, a DI, and um, which is a real cheap DI, bearing or uh, active DI. Actually, if you want to use a DI on your uh, computer setup, use a passive DI. Um, I mean, it work, it's working, it's cheap, but uh, it, it, it does the job. But if you're planning on building a setup, use passive DI when you use a active signal. Um, so that being said, um, and so we have one output that goes into the DI and one other output that is duplicated for uh, his own mixer, and um, the sidechain is right here. 
so that's the other output. Um, so that's a dedicated output that goes into um, the, the side of the pedal board. So on the front of the disc rack, um, that's actually his mixer for uh, his in-ear monitors. Um, he, um, he has uh, uh, the, the copy uh, of the snare coming on that input and this on this input. And this is the room. This is the backing track sequence. Um, and um, this is the mix from the FOH. Um, so um, he controls on his own uh, his uh, volume. So it's quite uh, fun to, uh, to have control during live show uh, on your kick and your snare and on the overall sound of your mix. So uh, that's the setup of the front. So um, the um, bass was recorded with the BSS uh, Active DI AR133 um, straight into my DAW. Uh, kick drum was the trigger and the SM7B uh, on the actual kick. You can use this compressor with the sidechain input uh, with an acoustic setup. Let's say you have your FOH uh, Salman um, that received a kick drum he can send you back with an auxiliary, uh, let's say a pre-fader pre uh, pre auxiliary, and he can send you an audio signal uh, into your sidechain uh, input. So it's quite fun to play with. It's not only for uh, our kind of music or our kind of setup. Uh, it can be done with uh, all sorts of setups. So uh, hope you guys have fun. And uh, you can check his entire rig uh on the on other video we have uh he he goes through all the pedals he have uh, he has on his pedal board so uh, go check it out and i hope you guys enjoyed it have a good day you